we have completed the course work for week 3 and we have looked into the core of the electromagnetics lecture which is the maxwell equations we have reintroduced some of the most commonly used terms like electric and magnetic fields using their proper topological and physical relationships in fact we saw that in the definition of lorentz force it is actually the e and b and not e and h fields that are related hence we rightfully termed e and b fields as electric and magnetic fields in our lectures we also reintroduced electric and magnetic excitations which we denoted as d and h respectively the reason for coupling e and b and d and h fields became also clear while we studied the ease algorithm in the finite difference time domain method we have remarked that it is the divergence of b and not that of h which is always zero in other words even when the divergence of b is zero we might have some value for divergence of h this comes directly from the relationships between b and h fields i encourage you to use good reference books to get a firm grasp of underlying physics and the physical meaning throughout this lecture i have followed three main reference books for electromagnetic field theory the first one is the feynman lectures in physics volume 2 by richard feynman the second book is the electromagnetic theory by julius adam stratton and the third book is the lectures in theoretical physics by arnold somerfeld we'll be giving you the links to the information about these books on our course website in this week we also introduced the finite difference time domain algorithm for the maxwell equation which is the famous ease algorithm we saw how the e and h field are staggered both in space and time using this algorithm we also noticed that that the pde system is algebraic in nature and the ease algorithm is essentially a centered in space and time scheme we have briefly discussed maxwell system in frequency domain and we also compared the pros and cons of using finite difference time domain method and the finite difference frequency domain method as a first exercise we looked into one dimensional electromagnetic field propagation problem in the second exercise we looked into a single and double slit diffraction experiment using finite difference time domain method we also investigated the role of spatial and temporal discretizations using the matlab code and this is the summary of this week we will be looking into different boundary conditions in the upcoming lectures i encourage you to practice the exercises and examples that we have studied in this week and get ready for the next week So until then goodbye